The United Nations Refugee Agency is warning of a big rise in the number of deaths of people trying to reach Europe by sea. Warmer weather and falling COVID rates on the continent appear to be encouraging more to attempt the journey. This year, the majority are crossing from Libya, Tunisia and Algeria and landing on Italian soil. Many others are travelling from Morocco across the Mediterranean to mainland Spain. But the most dangerous route is from northwest Africa through the North Atlantic Ocean to the Canary Islands. More than 5,000 people have survived this journey so far this year. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek and video journalist Bruno Bullpap have sent this exclusive report of One Rescue. Stranded in the middle of the Atlantic, a helpless migrant boat. The Spanish military helicopters overhead have never spotted anything like this here. It's 300 miles from shore. They realize there are many bodies. This was a mass grave in the middle of the water, or really in the middle of nowhere. I believe their hopes had vanished into the ocean. But incredibly, there are survivors, including a 17-year-old girl called Aisha, here in the red jacket. It's now a race to save them. It's the end of April, and they've been drifting for three weeks. There were men who could no longer stand up and who screamed from thirst. Please, I need to drink water. Can someone please give me water? We used to shoe to give them some seawater. Aisha, a teenager from Ivory Coast, thought Europe would offer a brighter future. She saw 56 people die in front of her. After two days, we had no more water left, no food. On the fourth day, no more petrol. At the beginning, when somebody died, we'd say a prayer. By the end, there was no prayer. We didn't have the strength to throw any more bodies in the water. With summer on the horizon, thousands of mostly young men from North and West Africa are trying to get to Europe. Some are fleeing war, others the economic hand that life has dealt them. Populist parties say tougher actions needed to stop this. It's a crisis that was masked momentarily by COVID, but never solved. Aisha has been welcomed with open arms in Tenerife, and now a reunion. Corporal Serrano, who lifted her from the boat. He's brought his family to meet her. For so many others on her boat, there was no new beginning. It was the end. Aisha was one of only three survivors. This was the greatest loss of life in any single known attempt to reach the Canary Islands. The 24 bodies that were recovered will now be laid to rest here. For the others lost at sea, there is no such dignity in death. <laughs> Aisha never thought she'd be able to speak to her family again but made a good recovery during her 10 days in hospital. She hopes to stay in Europe, study and work here, and send money back to her parents. Corporal Serrano and his team head off on their next training mission, knowing full well that even the might of the Atlantic Ocean is not enough to stop those prepared to risk death if there's the slightest chance of a better life. Nick Beek, BBC News, in the Canary Islands.